Bases and Saws, Part Two. Friends, did you feel the sourness in your mouth when you saw me? I am very unique. Mix me in water or in food. Lick me or like me, but I am unique. In the previous video, we all had gathered important information about acids and bases. Remember, the teacher told the children that they should bring turmeric, flowers, onions, and other things from home so that they could all experiment together. Let us see what children have brought from home. So let's go with the kids to their school lab today. I too am curious to know. Come, let us wear a lab coat and become a scientist. Today I have brought turmeric for the experiment. What have you all brought? Hey, I also brought turmeric. When I was taking out turmeric yesterday, it fell on this handkerchief. Look what happened. How many ever times I tried to wash with soap, but there is a very stubborn stain. I will show sir and will ask him what is there in turmeric. I have brought a hibiscus flower. I have a hibiscus plant at home. The bell rang. Sir will come. Let us go soon. Very nice. Children have brought different things from home. Looks like there will be a lot of fun in the lab. Good afternoon, children. I told you about acids and bases yesterday. Sir, aren't you going to talk about their indicators today? Yes, as we cannot taste all substances, indicators help us determine the difference between acids and bases. Oh, there is something called an indicator also. Come, let us see what they are. Sir, I have brought hibiscus flowers. Why did you ask us to get them? Turmeric, hibiscus, flower, purple cabbage are a few of the natural indicators. Is it? How do indicators help us? Whether a substance is acidic or basic is determined by these indicators. Indicators are of two types, natural and synthetic. Synthetic indicators are prepared by humans in the lab. So, I am also surprised how these can be indicators. Not only these, there are many things that can be used as indicators. You will be surprised to know that onions and garlic are also indicators.
Lata, can you tell me what has happened? Yes, sir. The turmeric strips turned red after dipping in two bowls and there is no reaction in the remaining three. Do you understand, friends, why this happened? Sir, can I dip a bandage made from a flower coat? Yes, come on. Sir, after dipping in these bowls, three strips turned magenta red. Two strips have turned green. Okay, one of you put a few drops in these bowls. Pour two drops of flower solution. What do you see? Wow, the fluids of two bowls have become green and three have turned red. Okay, from this, it can be concluded that the turmeric strip changed the base to red and there was no reaction in the acidic solution. Sir, do all the bases turn red when we come in contact with turmeric? These children have deducted what I did a few years ago. How clever are these children? <laughs> yes, and turmeric does not react with acid. That is why turmeric strips did not change color when they came in contact with acid. Now I came to know why when I washed my handkerchief with soap yesterday, soap made the turmeric stain red. Oh wow! What a fun experiment it was! Children have really become scientists. Hmm, good observation. Children, a commonly used indicator is litmus paper. It is taken from lichen. It is a natural indicator. Sir, are these red and blue strips litmus paper? Yes, I have taken two balls and put two liquids in them. Sir, shall I come and put these litmus papers in these bowls and see what will happen? Come on. So, when I dipped the red litmus paper in a solution, it had no effect. When I dipped it in the other solution, it turned blue. What happened to the blue litmus paper? It has the opposite effect. While I put it in one fluid, it had has no effect and in the other, it turned red. I wonder what is the secret of blue and red paper? Let's find out. As I told you earlier, this paper is made of organic material called lichen. When the red litmus is dipped in an acidic solution, it does not show any effect. But when it is dipped in basic solution, it turns blue. Sir, I have now come to know that when the blue litmus paper is put in basic solution, why it does not show any effect? But in acidic solution, it turns red. Yes, now all of you have come to know which of these two is acidic solution and which is basic solution. Yes, sir, thank, thank you. you. By using this method, the great scientist Robert Boyle also discovered acids and bases. And see how these children also solved a big problem by themselves. You should also ask your teachers to conduct these experiments so that you can also get more information about acid and basic substances. Sir, can you explain this process when both acid and bases are mixed? I will explain that in tomorrow's class. Children, we have seen how acids and bases can be identified by indicators. These indicators show different colors in acidic and basic solutions. In the next video, we will see the effect when acids and bases are mixed together. We will meet again.